Hey there, friends! Today, we're diving into an exciting topic that's sure to get your wheels turning. We're going to chat about the fascinating kingdom of God based on Bible scriptures. Let's explore what the Bible has to say about this intriguing concept. But before we go further, please like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content like this one. So, I believe that when we talk about the kingdom of God, we shouldn't equate it with the place we go to when we die. Instead, it's something that starts within us and grows from the inside out. Jesus himself was clear about this when he said, the kingdom of God is within you. This is a radical idea because it suggests that we are not just people who are saved from something or people who go to heaven when they die. No, we are people who have been saved to something the kingdom of God. This kingdom isn't just some far off reality, it's a present-day reality that Jesus came to establish and empower us with through His Spirit. The Bible tells us that Christ is now reigning from heaven as King over all things, and He has appointed us as His ambassadors on earth. The incredible part is that this kingdom is not a place where we go, it's a power that works in us and through us. So, today, let's chat about Jesus sayings. So, actually, out of all the guys who were born ladies, there's no one greater than King David. Even the dead aren't any better than him. Matthew 17:17. 17, 17, you see, it's pretty clear that nobody's greater than King David, or even Jesus, in the divine kingdom. Let's consider Psalm 84 to 3. Even so are they with you, O God, by night, as well as by day. This powerful verse highlights that people are under the Lord's authority day and night. Leviticus 25-23 tells us that those under authority are like servants to their master. Proverbs 14-1 adds that even a king is considered a servant to his lord. In this context, we can all be servants in the kingdom of God and find favor with both King David and Jesus Christ. Romans 5.17 helps us understand that favor with God is based on our righteousness through Christ. So let's strive to live righteously and remain in favor with God in this heavenly kingdom. Thank you for joining me in exploring this thought-provoking topic. Until next time, stay blessed.